And I'm back with another political rant video. <laughs> Alrighty, I don't see a reason to fluff it up too much, so roll the intro, let's get started. Misinformation. Oh, hey there. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, why don't you? So, so for the past few decades, the mainstream political left, the DNC, has been a largely ineffective party in the United States. But, but what about that big healthcare bill? Yeah, that was cool, but what have you done for me lately? Healthcare still costs a gazillion bucks. The Republicans built a system of mass surveillance under Bush, and we are still living under it today. Even a few chunks of, like, major gains in the Affordable Health Care Act have been undone by Republicans. And now the DNC is in power again, and we can already hear the calls for bipartisanship and centrism that seeks compromise and gradual change rather than any meaningful or noticeable improvement. And this is a huge problem. Every time the Dems gain power, they always seek to compromise the GOP because we want them to compromise with us when they're in power. How's that been working? Hey, at least I'm housebroken. Because as we've seen in the last 20 years, Republicans shut out the left when they're in power and refuse to compromise on any issue they don't need bipartisan support on. The radical left wants mass economic equality and the centrist left just wants to strike a compromise with the conservative values of the right. Racism. And they only ever deliver modest results that don't help most Americans. UNACCEPTABLE! And then the supposed radical left says, uh, hey, the things you're doing to help are definitely not enough. There are still 40 million Americans who are one missed paycheck away from being homeless. We need more. This is not enough. And then you have this infighting between progressives and centrists, allowing a more solidified right to pitch their values to the American public and gain control in the next election. This happens on a consistent basis, and it's because the left promises a great deal and then delivers on none of it. Or they half ass deliver some of it. So a lot of people are therefore rightfully annoyed and are open to listening to the right when they promise to make things better. Now, historically, the right has always made things worse, but looking at how ineffective the DNC always is whenever they actually gain power, it's easy to see why there are so many voters who flip-flop between voting on the left and voting on the right. The conservative side promises actual movement and action, and while that action is usually, you know, at the expense of civil rights and involves a lot of violence and draconian policies about how we should all live our lives, you know, at least they're doing something, is the perspective of a lot of people, as opposed to the DNC, the party that just refuses to take a hard stand on anything. So what's my big rant here? What's the complaint I'm shouting into the void with this video? It's that the mainstream left never goes far enough and this is why they lose. The lesson here that the DNC has miraculously failed to learn despite 30 years of repetition is that you have to take your shot. When Republicans win, they always manage to accomplish a lot in a very short period of time. They strip rights, cancel funding, appoint judges, and they even convince some of their DNC colleagues to support legislation that only helps the richest 1% and hurts the rest of us. But when the left is in power, they underdeliver, and I guess apparently that primes our lizard brains to support fascistic charisma above all else. So this is the message I'm shouting into the giant void of the internet and I guess the death void of the Democratic Party. Go all the way. Don't work with Republicans when you don't have to. Firstly, they never have worked with Dems when they don't need to. And secondly, Republicans are now lining up to support Trump after his presidency. They have all but completed their transformation into America's fascist party. If you work with them, you're supporting fascism. And there is no good that can come of that. Just read any history textbook about the last century. This is a pattern that repeats itself throughout history. So go big. Take your shot. Go all the way. It's not about saying, make healthcare affordable so you don't offend conservatives. They didn't care about offending the left when Trump and Mitch removed workplace protections for LGBTQ people. The way you win is not by making something that people hate slightly less horrible. It's by revamping, it's by making something new. And healthcare for all is something that will make people want to vote for you. It's the sort of policy that will help make voters realize that fascism is not what they want. <laughs> or hell, take up the universal basic income as your banner. Or community control over law enforcement. But you know what? 
I'm just going to put it real simple for my Pelosi's and my Schumer's out there. If you make the majority of American lives better, we're going to like that. And if the DNC continues to do nothing, when the electorate has given them the power to do something, they are more responsible than anyone else for opening the door to our fascist downfall. If you have the chance and the ability to actually do something good, you do it. Otherwise, you're no worse than the worst. I mean, seriously. How could you... We are so close. We are, like, really, really not in a good way here. And there isn't going back to normal anymore. That's not an option. And we need to act like that. We need to recognize that massive overhaul reform is needed. Otherwise, it is coming down. Everyone is angry. You don't make things better by standing there like a deer in the headlights. I know Joe Biden's gotta fucking do shit with COVID, so pass COVID legislation, obviously we need relief. But Congress, get off your duffs and write some legislation that'll help people beyond just the pandemic. The problems we are facing during this pandemic are because we had no mechanisms in place to help people. What does that tell you? Create the mechanisms! Ah! <sighs> All right. Bye.